Hey. Hey. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mentality Show. Uh, it is 6 p.m. It is Wednesday, November 11th. We are live here on Zoom. Mentality Show from the crib. <clears throat> this is probably our, we're coming up on nine months, maybe 10, uh, as far as doing this from the crib. Everybody's experiencing corona fatigue right now. Uh, we are definitely experiencing it as well. We are no different than you. But we come here every week to entertain our audience the best way we can by talking about real shit, five grown ass men talking about their issues, talking about what you go through as Americans. Hell, I don't care even if you're across the world, wherever you're at, if you're listening, we are going to make sure we entertain you the best way we can. We have a special guest on our show today. She's been on our show several times. We love having her on because why? This chick keeps it real. She don't give a F about what's on her mind. Women love her. Men love her. Women want to be her. Men want to fuck her. Hey, she is on the show. <laughs> we love having her on. Um, <clears throat> please welcome to the show, <clears throat> Rosie the Riveter, folks. Rosie the Riveter. Hi, everybody. And that is true, actually. Women want to fuck me, too, but that's a whole other story. It's a whole other chapter. We can talk about that. We can talk about that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us today, Rosie. We like having you on because you have so many ideas. You're actually some of you actually give us some of the uh, inspiring uh, topics outside the show. You're one of our top uh, fans, and uh, but today we actually had fans email us uh, throughout the week some of the things they want to talk about. So we're going to hit on that, and Rosie's going to give her opinion because it's, it was a lot of women that hit us up this week. Uh, a lot of suburban white women, I guess, because uh, now. That <laughs> Am I a suburban white woman? Am I the Karen? <gasps> the Karen. You are. You know what? Karen's actually voted. Believe it or not, we've been fucking with Karens all these for the past year. But Karens actually got us a new president right now. These fucking Karens voted in. Congratulations to President Biden, by the way. Let's uh, give this man here congratulations. I might be the only one clapping here. <laughs> you are. <laughs> I'm going to clap for all y'all. I'm going to clap for all y'all. Fuck it. President Biden, he was elected officially the president of the United States this, um, this uh, actually this Saturday. People were celebrating. The Jamaican girl. What? Oh, yeah. What? What? Jamaica? What? Jamaican girl. Who's a Jamaican girl? Biden? <laughs> no, man. Uh, Kamala Harris. Uh, she's Indian and black, right? Her, the, what, the black part is Jamaican? Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. So we got a Jamaican, Indian, first biracial, first woman. But she's pretty much the whole gamut, the first vice president. Anything that's never been vice president, she's that as vice president, basically. How do you say her first name? I don't know how to say it. Kamala? Kamala. I only Kamala. fuck with white, I only fuck with white girls, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm joking. I'm joking. Well, maybe if you put "Oh my God" in front of it, they'll know. Oh my God, Kamala. Then they'll understand who it is. Uh, so, uh, yes, congratulations to those two. Uh, we're so proud. I'm proud, and some of the guys on the show here are proud. So, uh, but we're not going to really talk about politics today. Uh, I'm sort of experiencing. Thank politics. God. So we're going to talk about relationships. Something that people are trying to hold on to right now throughout this whole Corona times, love and Corona, people are struggling in their relationship and uh, they want answers. People want answers. And we're going to give them those answers today. So we have questions. Vato V and Rosie actually have the questions uh, written down. Uh, Vato V has been going back and forth with some of our, our um, audience members. And if you want to, if you want to know, if you want us to discuss something, just email us at mentality, at the mentality underscore show. And we will get those emails if they make sense on the air and we'll talk about them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get it cracking. Let's get into it. Let's discuss. Let's get into the meat and potatoes, the balls and nuts of the whole show. Balls and let's like do balls it. And nuts. So, chicken balls. Potato yeah. balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like chicken balls. Or Rosie, either one. Go ahead and throw that first question out there. Yeah, the, first ahead, question, give the, floor. the first question that we got was uh, – uh, let me get this correct here. Why is it that men are all lovey-dovey and romantic and uh, then they cuddle and they want to, you know, before they fuck. And once once we fuck, 
this is coming from a female from a female uh, uh, member from a female audience member. She's you know, one of our fans. She said that why is it that men are all you know lovey dovey and and oh my god baby girl and this and that and and all of a sudden when we bust the nut it's like okay get the fuck out of me go away mm-hmm. like you know what mm-hmm. I mean so why is that why do we do that you know what I mean it's science it's simple it's science before we science get that, it's science before we get that nut we our bodies anything you can touch our arm and we're just gonna be so excited by that it's a physical thing. I mean, a woman can breathe on us and we're just going to be so excited. But after that nut, after we get that nut, we release all those, all that testosterone, all those, those fair. Uh, All of our our endorphins are gone. (laughs) Yes. Yes. It's, we, we just don't want to be bothered. We don't want to be around you unless we really, really have deep feelings and there's a love. Balls deep feelings. Balls Balls deep. deep. That's right. Balls deep. (laughs) <laughs> you're just a blowback bitch he just wanted to blow you back that's it <laughs> but what if he's not blowing your back and he's still like get up off me it's like uh motherfucker we're not done no <laughs> he's done because you're just a blowback because <laughs> he blew his own back if a man if a man wants to be around you after all that then he really really has feelings for you if he wants you know to what it is you know what it is is that the way the women uh they, uh, you know, we, we release everything we got, so they pretty much suck us dry. They suck our happiness away. <laughs> <laughs> we need that, though. If we didn't have that women, if we didn't have women sucking all those endorphins and testosterone, we'd be, you talking about wars and men killing each other and fucking each other up and all kinds of stuff, we would be, this world would be in chaos if it wasn't for. for <laughs> so you're saying a blowjob could have avoided war? Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. I am double correct. Down. I'm doubling down on that. Thank you, Scully. What well, are you- ladies, we got to get back on our knees, ladies. We got to do what we got to do. Like, what are, what's happening here? <laughs> and more than once. It can't just be one time and you save the world. It doesn't work that <laughs> Hey, a blowjob. So it has to be like a rotation. A blowjob a day, save the world. <laughs> if you lick my ass, if you lick my ass, I will, I'll, I'll actually join a charity. <laughs> <laughs> are men into that? Is that a thing? I will do extra. Yes. That man is. And that man is. Is, is that a thing? <laughs> is, like if. That man. What's the thing? Like what thing? A woman is. If a woman licks your ass. Is that like oh. a pleasure zone for y'all? We lost you, Rosie. What was that? Is that again? That's that's this nigga. <laughs> Why, y'all friend, Why y'all friend like y'all don't have like to have y'all? You would you would turn down an ass licking? Come on. Hold hold on hold on hold on. What? Uh, well, hold on, hold on. Let me ask, uh, go, you go ahead, Vato. Go ahead, go ahead. Look, for everybody out there, you know, Rosie and I are dating. We've been, we've been together for, as a matter of fact, I'll throw seven years. There. We've been together for a while, for a seven. long time. Seven? <laughs> I thought it was three. <laughs> three. We've been together three, three years today. And today like is, seven. you know what? And I want to say this, you know, out there, so everybody can hear. Hey, happy anniversary to my baby girl, Rosie. We've been together three years, baby. Happy anniversary. So, there you Thank go. You. I want to throw that out there. You know, she says that I'm not romantic enough, so here it you're is. I'll, say, I'll say it <laughs> out in front of the world. Yeah, you're, hold on. You're romantic right now, but you haven't met yet, so it's okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's why. Okay. Wait, <laughs> this is too much. It's I was telling the much. audience that it's your anniversary romantic. Is that your idea of romantic? <laughs> it is. I'm like, now I'm blushing. I'm like, <laughs> ask her. <laughs> Rose is going to be like, you don't ever do anything. Rose is going to be like, you romantic. You don't never do anything for me. Uh, no, nah, babe. I told the world uh, it was our anniversary. I'm gonna tell you. So. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, you I'll be romantic like, with us like, in the parking garage at at the station. Yes, I am. Love me. Yeah, oh he was, shit, that sounds <laughs> loose. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. He gets romantic with me in the Target parking lot. So sorry. Yes. Oh yeah, he likes parking lots. <laughs> <laughs> they had a thing for parking lots. He's a lot. We do. Yes, we do. He loves the parking lot. The parking lot at Dick. That's his favorite. A dick Dicks. <laughs> that dicks. sounds about right. <laughs> B, you about to say something about Rosie licking your ass? Is that what you? Yeah. Is that? Okay, I'm sorry, I thought we were going to talk about uh, that. I'm sorry, but fuck no, that's never going to happen. No, sorry. <laughs> Does he shove uh, items in your ass too? I uh, cannot confirm nor deny. <laughs> no, fuck that. Is the butt plug for me? Is it for him? What does it matter? As long as it's in somebody. Hey, I always say this on the show. 
it, as long as you're not fucking with kids or animals or old people and you get consent, do what you do. Do what you hey, do. Old people like, hey, old people like, don't get shit. Old people like to fuck. You fucking swear they don't want to fuck. <laughs> yeah, they can fuck each other. I'm not fucking them. <laughs> Why not? As long as you, as long as you're, you know, you got consent, okay? Um, you know, do what you do. That's all I say. As long okay, as so my question is, are men into a good ass? Like, do they want to have their salad tossed too? That guy does. Okay. Yeah, that so we've got does. one. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. That's like a hell yeah, lick my ass. Okay. Here's the, hold on, but here's the question. Here's the question that is a legitimate question. Okay, so you got one person here that likes to get his ass licked by a female, obviously. But you as a female, do you like to fuck? Would you do that shit to a man? I'm sorry, no. Bro, no. Bro, I'm not going to stick are you serious? my tongue. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so You're Rosie the River. Do you get on this show? I'm Rosie show the Riveter. And let me tell you, you know what? Hold on. Time out. <laughs> Get me about three tequila shots in, and I'd probably be like, fuck it, let's go. Thank you. Thank you. You're Rosie the River to represent, baby. Represent. Yeah, I don't you know. know. Hey, I don't know. Hold on, hold on. I don't know whose ass you're going to lick, because it ain't going to be mine. Huh? No. <laughs> See, <laughs> but that's why you talk about boundaries. See, if Rosie came, about came up to you and says, you're you know, her his ass. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing that. If <laughs> Rosie gonna came like, to you, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> if Sorry. Rosie came said hey tonight's our anniversary i want to do something some next level shit and she just started licking your ass or tried to you telling me you're gonna be like no no don't do it don't do it Come he on. might he no. might like shove me out of the way that <laughs> affection and that loving dumbness no. might go away <laughs> I, think, uh, I, I think that's i think that's our last day of our anniversary we'll break up that day yeah, probably <laughs> yeah just like just rip one and and see what the flapping sounds like <laughs> yeah, there you go <laughs> I'd be like, that's different. I'd be like, happy anniversary to you too, pink eye. Yeah. Lizette said she don't do no ass licking. See, most, let me tell you, I'm going to be, you know what? Don't know. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I don't think you're going to find a whole lot of women that are going to be like, mm, I can't wait to lick my man's asshole. <laughs> don't, don't. Hey, and if you, hold on. If you find a woman like that, if you find a woman keep like her, that, you keep her, tie her down. You. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, you're not going to find a lot of women, but there are a large population of women out there. There are women there like an I island? Talked with a woman one time who said, I am not going to do that. I am not going to allow you to even lick my ass, right? And oh, I hold on. finally talked her into it, okay? And let's put it this way. Before the end of the relationship, not only was I licking her ass, but she was licking my ass. So ne never say never. Never say you won't do something. I'm going to say never right now. I can say <laughs> never. I'm a little I will concerned. say never. I'm a little concerned here. A wise prophet once said that every hand you've shaken has had a dick in it, and now I'm a little worried about the lips that every. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you don't touch lips, so that's good. But no, you but kiss you them. kiss them and you so do all other the, things with them. So all the lips that you have kissed has had an asshole on them. <laughs> Your asshole. <laughs> I have. Uh, I have two words. Hand yes. <laughs> No, you could use them for lips too. No. <laughs> um, oh my god! No. So, based on that question of why is it that men get because I've seen it happen where men are like super affectionate and all of a sudden they're really touchy feely and they're all up on you and they're compliments left and right and all of a sudden they bust that nut and it's like, mm, I'm going to talk to you like a regular person now. Vato V, answer that question. That uh, your girl is asking that question. Well, like I told you, like, uh, you suck our happiness away, so we're good. We got, like, we you got don't suck ours away. We got to reboot. <laughs> Is everyone like that, Scully? Are you like that? Um, no, I'm going to say no, but I think a lot of people are. You know, I, I think in the gist of it, it's kind of like adrenaline. This is probably the easiest way to explain it. You get all fired up, and then once you, you what goes up must come down, right? So once you come <laughs> down – you're not the or same type, but I would think it depends on the time of day. Yeah, like if you're all getting a quickie on at noon, you're not, then we're out of here. We got to go back to work, bro, all right? But right. if it's like nighttime and, and you're going to bed, I'm cool with it. Lay there. Yeah. Let's let's do this and sleep. And You're like, let's sleep, but you go that way. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not like that. I, I wouldn't do that. So, so you're times. a cuddler? Uh, I mean, yeah, probably. I mean, 
Yeah. I mean, are you a love that's me a whole other show, type? but I would say, yeah. Are you, are you a love me and hold me type? No. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll fart. I'm hug, hold her. <laughs> I love me and hold me. Who's Only that? for the first few minutes. If you stay too long, I'll fart. <laughs> uh, you know what? I I can I can see that. Yeah, no, I I agree there. Is that true, Stella? You uh, you fuck feet? Is that true? <laughs> I heard. Oh, I'm sorry, I heard feet? something. What? I heard feet. Uh, Man. so um, uh, that's interesting. What about you, KC? 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 Do you fuck and then don't want to be touched afterwards? Uh well, afterwards is a long. It's after I'm in. See. I'm into some freaky shit. Like I, I, we, we're gonna, we're gonna fuck. We're gonna do some other stuff. Um, Agreed. It's it's a, it's an adventure. I'm into adventures. I I don't know. I I like it to be weird. I don't know. I just don't fucking leave. It's some other shit. We're gonna cook naked. We're gonna <laughs> um, do some Jello shots naked. We're gonna play some video games naked. Um, we go check the mail naked, and then we might do it in the laundry mat. You know, I'm just weird. I like I like I. This is my this is how I do it. I act like this is the last time I'm ever gonna fuck somebody in my life. Cause I might die <laughs> when you leave this door. So I'm gonna do everything I can do. But don't, I'm not into ass licking because if it's good, if she's good at licking my ass, I'm gonna be like, how many asses have you licked to get to this, to get this good? To get to this good in my mind. I don't care. <laughs> I ain't judging. I am, it's not like I'm gonna leave her alone. I mean, I might not even fuck her again, who knows? But. She licked my ass. Uh, Jamaicans are not into ass play. That's how, it's just something we're raised that way. Or, nor, hey, hold on. Nor, the, hey, nor, nor Mexicans, well, me personally, mm. no. Yeah, that's, or, that's, you know. true. that's not true. That girl I was talking about was Mexican, so. Hey, uh, she's in the, she's from the yeah. Amazon, it's from the, somewhere in the mountains. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to say, down. if you're doing this in a laundromat, that you don't have to worry about no virus, bro. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, Scully, white women. Oh, are... whoa, I just took. I took my test. I just took my test. I'm clean, nigga. I only mess yeah. with girls with, with clean tests. Now I, I got to see the papers too. Like, bitch, let me see your papers. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I walk around with mine in my back pocket. <laughs> me, Tech, are you uh, are you when you fucked? Are you are you done? Are you done? I'm married. I just go to sleep. <laughs> you don't around you or touch you or anything like that. I just fall over, go to sleep. That's it. That's it. <laughs> what, if, what if she wants to be close to you, cuddle with you and all that? Are you like, get fuck away or? I'm asleep. Like, she can lay she can cuddle on top of me while I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, Rosie? What about you as a female? Are, are you like, get the fuck away from me or are you cool? You know what? I'm not going to lie. There have been times where I'm like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fall asleep now. <laughs> it's like, yeah. okay, and V knows this. As soon as I'm ready to fall asleep, I turn my back. <laughs> so it's like, meh. Yeah, she, 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 she turns her she turns her back and fucking takes, her back my, and like, takes the black takes my fuck both the blankets away and I'm fucking freezing my ass off over here because I don't have a on the edge of the bed. Well, at least it was licked. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's very true. That's a very true. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm into situations yeah. where you can get caught. Like, let's Ooh. do it real quick. Well, uh, like, I like, I like to do like someone come around this corner. We're in trouble. She she can attest to that. So I mean, you know, okay. we have we have we've had our adventures. You know what I mean? So, you know. Casey, yeah, that. Yeah, see, y'all. Casey, you you're almost crazy. becoming my favorite couple. You two are almost becoming my favorite couple. Oh, you. Oh, be if you only got to rob a bank <laughs> first. If you only, hey, if you only, if you only knew the fucking shit we have done. Oh Lord. <laughs> Casey, you, know? yeah, you like to do everything naked. You didn't mention get arrested naked. <laughs> yeah. They're doing that too. Been there, yeah. done that too. <laughs> no. So I have a question. We can go back to emails later, but here's a question. Okay. So you guys know how did you guys are aware that licking a woman's clit is the equivalent of like licking her dick? Did that make you guys kind of queasy <laughs> about it a little bit? Because the clitoris obviously becomes aroused and it becomes. That means that's, that means that I'm Swollen. sucking your dick, babe, or when I'm sucking your dick. Uh, 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 if, she, if, you know dick. if she said huh? oh, you sucking my dick, I'd be like, let's do. It. I'm into it. I'm weird. I'm weird. <laughs> it ain't really. It ain't really a dick. So in my, I'm a good actor. I'm a thespian. I'm a thespian. We can do this. <laughs> lesbian, lesbian, or thespian. Which one? You're a lesbian. <laughs> let's be honest. No, but now is like, that you guys role that you guys play? Have thought about. 
Say that again. I don't know. Maybe these days they don't bother brain. me. What you, what you what was your what was your question? Interesting. Case? Interesting. Does it does it mess with your guys' mind to now think about that to th be like, oh my god, I'm technically not licking all. her dick. Le, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna. Oh well. I'm, I'm stimulating look, her dick. Hold on, hold on. You you have to understand the mentality of a man, motherfuckers. We, we're fucking. We our mind is just like we fucking think the fucking craziest motherfucking things you can possibly imagine and it's like we want to do that shit like oh fuck you know what i mean like whether the whatever the fuck if you're into it cool I'll, oh, that'd you know, be kind of freaky fuck it, but we're gonna do that shit that's the mentality of a man if we're gonna fucking that's do shit, weird and if you're down for I'm... that shit and if you're down for that shit we're gonna do it you already know well yeah so, yes you said i like wonder if i would like that you can't say that, B, because you say you don't lick ass. I don't. I didn't say. I, I didn't say. Uh, I hold didn't, on. I, that, I didn't say I didn't lick that. ass. I said I didn't like. You said he didn't want his ass licked. Oh, you're right. You're actually right. Okay. Oh so, wow. So you're a good lover. You'll lick. You'll do, but you won't get done. That's that's pretty good. Pretty good. Dude, I like how it's going. Like, the fuck. Dylan, I love the look on your face right there. You had an aha moment. The light bulb came on. You're like, ah. You saw that, like, ah. Forgot about the reverse. Yes, I forgot about the reverse. Uh, uh, can I, I like, ask you two a question? You guys do role play, like go to a, a place and act like you don't know each other and act out these scenes? I of people. want to. I you got to do it, girl. You got to do it. It's crazy. I want to. I'm like, I want yeah, you to put me in like, the dirty in bathroom. Character. Yes, I'm like, I want you to like drag me into like a bathroom and fuck me in the stall. Yeah, and then come out and and leave in like Bato. separate cars and pretend hold, like we're hold, not hold on, hold on, hold on. I fucking have dragged her ass in, into the you fucking have. dressing room <laughs> and fucked her at a specific place in a no, dressing room. No, no, but you gotta. No, but it has to be up with these where ideas. Like, I'm sitting all, at the bar, and you come in acting. You have no idea who I am. You try to buy me a drink. I'm like, oh hey, we get kind of chatty. We're taking drinks. We have Vato. V. Like, Vato. Once this COVID shit gets over, we're gonna do that shit. <laughs> okay. What's yeah, up? That's cool too, because you want other people to get involved. Like, is he talking to her like that? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what? I did. I yeah. went to my, my girl and I. We went to a bar and we pretended like we weren't together. And all these other guys were hitting on her. And that shit turned me on. That shit turned me on. And all these other dudes want to fuck my girl. But they can't because, you know. Hey, you know what? You know, you know what, Delano? I'm gonna. The, you brought up a very good point, and I'm gonna throw this out there. And I think we've had this conversation before, maybe, maybe a, amongst us. But as a man, you know, as a man, for another motherfucker to look at my lady, you know what I'm saying? Like as she's like, let's say we're eating at a restaurant, and she gets up, she goes use the restroom or whatever, and motherfuckers are looking at her. I think that's personally, I think that's a turn on. You know Sad. why? Because hot, for man. me, it's like, you know what? Fuck, that motherfucker is looking at my chick that I am with right now. Exactly. And it's like, she wants her, but I'm the one that's, I'm the one that's doing stuff with her. Does exactly. that make sense? Exactly. So a lot of motherfuckers, you, look, and, and motherfuckers that are out there that are fucking like, act like bitches when, when fucking, uh, um, when, when, you know, they are jealous and shit. Like, what the fuck are you looking at my girl for? Or yeah. they ask, or they ask their lady, like, what the fuck are you flirting with that motherfucker for? Like, Fuck that. That was a straight fucking bitch. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Insecure. He's insecure in a relationship. Yep. He's a jealous, insecure type dude. If you're very secure in your relationship, you're secure mm -hmm. who you are, you're secure in that relationship, you can do shit like that. You can play little games like that. You can do role playing and, and all that and, 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 and be proud of the fact that you got a hot chick that other dudes want to fuck, but they can't because that's your woman. That's your lady. I don't want to sound possessive here. Let's put it this way. Because she's into you. She's not into other guys. Yep. She's into you. Cool. Are you sure it's not just because you're there at that moment? <laughs> Probably. Probably. Now, now you can get secure. Now let's 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 get insecure on this one. No. <laughs> what if what if uh, okay, here's the question. What if the guy, what if you are not present and that's going down? <laughs> hey, you know what? You gotta that's trust. that's gotta be a fucking that's a humongous trust shit right there. And like I told her, like you know I told her, you can do. You know what's going down? Your girl's not with you all the time. Sorry, V. But no. if guys are looking at her while you're while you're there, you know when she's not with you, guys are still gawking over and looking at her. Of so, course, you know. And you talking. Sure. And like I like I look. Like, this is what I tell her. Like, look, I don't, I don't even. Let's even if we if we live, we've been together for a while. So if when when you're with your girls and you're going out with your girls, I don't give. I you already know me, gentlemen. You already know me, D. You already know me for a while. Like. 
I personally don't give a fuck. Like, go ahead and handle your shit. Go out with your girls. Go out with where the fuck you got to go out with. Yeah. If you fuck up, that's on you. That is yeah. on you. And I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem, like, fucking letting go if you're acting stupid like that. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I always tell myself, and, I, you know, if I can get her, I can get somebody else just like her. And I'm not trying to be a dick or anything like that, but that's that's just reality of the thing. A lot of motherfuckers, they want to act stupid, and they want to fucking, they want to act stupid, and they want to fucking uh, 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 think that, you know, <laughs> She knows. She knows the deal. She, I'm Rosie, not gonna. I'm not, I'm I'm not. What's on there, Rosie? What do you think about that? Your face. You made a. You had a reaction there. No, it's the simple saying of, "I if I can get her, I can get another one just like her or better." Yeah. I'm like, mm, I, tell I, you I, though. He's tell saying you. you're replacing. <laughs> yeah, saying you're replacing. and let me tell you, I. So this is just a piece of advice for all you men out there. Do not remind your female that she is replaceable. Mm-hmm. do not make that a consistent reminder like uh just because i've got you doesn't mean that i can't replace you of course we as women know that we can be replaced you as men know that you can be replaced don't keep reminding the broad that she can be replaced because eventually she's gonna be like all right well fuck it then replace my ass bye eventually she's gonna get tired of it be like can't replace they'll be like they'll be like be like okay bye <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, i changed no. my mind i can't replace you but okay so here's here's my here's my question so that's just for us because we're dating. We've been together, you know, a few years. That's, you know, he still finds it a turn on that other guys or other men check me out as I'm walking away or I'm, or I'm around. I want to know, does that change when you get married, Scully? Is it still a turn on for you to know that your wife gets looked at as she's walking away from your table? Or is it kind of just like, no, I'm married or I'm good? That's a great question, Rosie. Uh, <laughs> I you know, that's a, that's a tough one. I'm going to say no, it doesn't change. But it becomes easier. Is it, or, is it like less? It becomes is more it? of the, the standard because as the years go on, it's not that you're not excited. It's you've been together so long and this is, this is how things play out and you know it already. It's more of this, it becomes kind of the norm. The, it is, it, it's the way it is. Yeah. Right. So then at what point do you, at what point in your marriage or in your relationship do you think that it needs to be spiced up some more? You know, because obviously you can fuck and fuck and fuck, but eventually it's, kind of the same routine it's the same kind of fucking so what at what point are you like we need to try something different like not necessarily get my ass licked or you get your ass licked right but like at what point as a in the marriage i'm not talking about you know long long-term relationships long-term relationships are not marriage it is not a marriage it's not a marriage until there's a legal piece of paper saying uh she's gonna fuck you if you divorce right. her <laughs> you know what i would say i would say that the first five years is solid and then after that it's probably a good idea to put it in your calendar every six months or annually or biannually what, sex you know, put sex in the that. calendar once a week you know <laughs> once a you week. know that's a great because, question rosie i'm sorry let me hit on something oh. i haven't been married and my fear is when i get married i'm gonna get bored with the sex uh, oh you are because you're boring uh, <laughs> You might get bored with me too. It might be the feeling. Because like, be- you're boring with the sex. What the fuck? Oh well, uh, you would know. No, uh, so <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> just I, just you would know. So. Looking at you. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> me, Sit up. Me, it's okay. Sit up. Make me come over there. No. Uh, yeah, that's my fear. So, Scully, Tech C, how do you, how do you handle that? How do you get past that whole boredom thing uh, with that person you're with for years and years and years? What, what, what are the tricks of the trade? Can you explain that to me in detail? You know what? I think, I think you're calling it boredom when you, you probably don't realize that when you've been together that long that things advance and you get to know each other even better. It's not, it's, I don't, I don't know. For me, I don't think it's, it's boredom, man. I think if you guys get bored, then maybe you ought to check yourselves. That's true. I think that uh, well, personally speaking, because I, 
person is, well, I think that it, you know, when you're married, it's, it's one of those where that person has to become your best friend. Obviously, you know, you go through shit in life where, you know, I've been divorced, you know what I mean? And I thought that person was my best friend, but shit happens, you know, shit happens in life. And you guys are my best friend and I'm bored with y'all all the time. So yeah. <laughs> you're boring. But, because you're you're boring. I, I said it. Didn't I say he was boring? I said it. <laughs> well, cause we're not, we're not fucking you. Yeah. Like, we're not fucking, and, I'm not licking your asshole. Fucker. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank no, you. and you know what? V touched on a very important point. Okay. When you're married for, <laughs> for a long period of time, you see what each other is going through and you experience a whole lot of fuckery together. And it doesn't become, oh, we're going to fuck every night. It's like, you guys have this relationship and sometimes it's just isn't going to work because some shit's going down in your life and you got to get through that and, yeah. and then you get back on track later. It's not... It's not like the let's go party, hit the club, and do this, that, and the other thing. Like it slows down a little bit, but hopefully it doesn't stop for people. I, I, I totally agree on that. Especially that person, when kids are involved. <laughs> say again, see? Especially when you have kids. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Touch we, on that. Like we, we how know. how does that work? Like at what point? I mean, obviously, when you have smaller kids, it becomes more difficult to be able to get that moment of intimacy. Or being able to say like, hey, baby, let's go fuck. Or it's, it's one of those where are you waiting for kids to take a nap? And sometimes they don't nap at the same time or they don't fall asleep at the same time. And by then you guys are just so tired that you're like, mm, yeah, take well, a night. You know, and, and let me let me say this because, you know, as uh, us, for example, like we've been in situations, we have our kids. You know, when we have our kids together, there's been times where we want to do something and it's like, of you know, fucking knocking the door and it's like, fuck, I feel sick or whatever. And then that kills the whole moment. So we kind of understand the whole, the whole thing, you know, um, like I said, she's, she's been in a previous relationship. I've been in a previous relationship. So it's like, it's how do you, how do you move forward uh, when you're married or when you're with a person for a long time, that person is going to become your best friend. And that person, not necessarily the fucking is going to be the, the, the turn on. Uh, the glue. Like, 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 like Scully said, like, it's going to be one of those where like, even, you know, going out and doing something different, that's a turn on and that's where that's where the the, the romantic uh, uh aspect kicks in does that make sense so it's not about it's not about just fucking all the time like there's other shit that can turn you on you know and that leads to that <laughs> you yeah. know what i mean so is that true c like right now i know you've got two smaller ones you know smaller kids so they're they're, they're a lot more of an interruption <laughs> yeah, they sleep and they both sleep in the bed so, how, I mean, I don't mean to kind of meddle into your sex life here, but how does that work? Is it one of those where it's like, we got to get a sitter for at least an hour so we can at least handle? Like, no sitter. <laughs> no, no sitter. Like, give, me 20, give me 20 minutes. <laughs> he sounds like you are right now. Next <laughs> week, his wife, they fuck like, like, duck, duck, goose, duck, duck, goose. You know, you got to real quick you know, and then stop. <laughs> Okay, I think I hear something. Okay, no, duck, duck, goose. You know, just gotta get it in right, like that style, right? Hey, but you know what? I want to I want to toss this out to the to the fucking youngsters that are listening. If there's youngsters out there that are listening to the show, you know, it's not about just okay. You know, we we always we have this misconception of it's fucking the looks, and obviously in the beginning it's the looks and stuff like that. But all that shit's gonna fade out, you know, when you go into a relationship. No, the longer the long. Not no, no, no. Tell that to, to Delano. Uh, yeah, I know. Women are going to lose their looks. If no, they're hot no. right now, they should, they should be hot. That's a woman's responsibility to keep herself hot. I'm only going to get uglier, Delano. Scully, Scully got that. Scully got that, man. Oh, Lord. It's a woman's That's... responsibility to keep herself up, okay? That's her job. <laughs> That's her one okay. job. Okay. Then it is your responsibility to keep your dick up. Good luck. Ooh. <laughs> hey, if you keep yourself up, trust me, my dick will do its job. I trust doubt me. it. I doubt it. I'm, I'm a man of a certain age. No issues, baby. No issues. Yet. Yet. <laughs> hey, let's not Yet. put that. It's 2020. It's the bad things are happening. That's not 2021 is coming up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what if like what if the coronavirus, you guys get it, and that like causes erectile dysfunction later on? <gasps> uh, that, you know, I know. <laughs> They're saying that they're still discovering issues that, you know, this thing could cause. I, I don't That's, mean to bring up Rona, but they were, that an article came out about how they're saying that it causes mental illness. Yeah. That it's starting to cause mental illness in, you know, in people who've had it. Like, well, I don't I, know, like a couple months later. 
if I get Corona and my dick's not working, I'm going to go mentally ill too. So <laughs> yeah. no, you'll be all right, bro. You just have to masturbate more. I think they said that, that, that you can get cum clots from, from this. <laughs> hey, cum clots, KC. That's your talk. Cum clot. <laughs> KC. Cum clot. He's not listening. Okay. What? What's a cum clot? Only <laughs> speaking your language. You said cum clot. <laughs> There's no, there no, there's no such word, clot. <laughs> I think you say bumble clump clot. Bumble there clot, go. Ross clot. There you go. Oh, my no, bad. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, I, 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 I've been listening and I, I, I would love to have somebody who knew me so well where they could Pick correct me. I, I mean, I'm all about it. I, I, I'm coachable. I can take constructive criticism, but it's just like, the one time I was married, I wasn't honest with her because I was going through something mental and I should have told her that. And that fucked up the relationship. But we're still good <laughs> friends now. But it's just like, I, I'm envious of you guys have been together for years on years and years. That's dope to me. What I'm going through now is not fun. I mean, you? it's fun, but it's, 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 it's not- It's a different kind um, of fun. Yeah, it, it, it's not real, you know? I want real something. JC, how long were you married? Huh? How long were you married? How many years or months? Maybe two. <laughs> How many days? Two years. So I'm the Maybe only two. one married. I'm the only one who's never been married. And my longest relationship has only been, what, three years? Three days. Okay, I've had longer <laughs> relationships. I had a five-year relationship, so that's good. Oh, uh, no. I, 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 um, I stick by my statement, though. Having long-term relationships is not the same as getting married. It's not the same. When you get married, she why not married. though? Why? In what way is it not the same? Think, think about it. If you are in a long-term relationship, whether it's five mm -hmm. years, whether it's ten years, whether it's fifteen years, you guys are gonna split. Mm -hmm. There's no legality there. There is zero. Le there is zero legal ties there. Yeah, but the pain's okay? still real. No, no, the pain is very real. The Don't pain, get me wrong. The, the I'm pain talking is still legality. Real. I'm talking the legality. When you're married, that is a legally binding <laughs> contract. That lit that piece of paper will literally mean I, as a woman, am gonna bend you over. I'm gonna shove my biggest dildo up your ass with no lube, and you're gonna be like, "Okay, I'll take it," <laughs> and go on your merry way. Hey, like that's like a, a fair famous. tactic. That's a fair tactic. But like, like, uh, but like, uh, like, like, like a famous, like a famous comedian once said, he said, "Marriage should be a five-year contract, a five-year lease contract." with an option to buy. So five years, once that shit is up, it's like, nope, I don't want to sign the lease again because I want to get the fuck on. That's yeah. it. It's oh, is that, is that what we're striving for, five years? People oh, yeah. are married. They don't you know what? See? Look up five years. Here's a, per, here's a public service Wait. announcement, all right? Public service announcement, guys. All right? Because of what Rosie just said, don't accumulate too many assets or too much money. And if you do, hide that shit in a bag somewhere because yes. you don't want to give them something to fucking take from you. All right. Just, just keep it. Nothing. Hide, hide the shit that you really need. And uh, don't, don't give them a reason to fuck you with their dildo. Okay. <laughs> the big one. So, so uh, when it comes to, um, uh, I'm sorry, I can't think of it. The agreement you signed, where you don't want her to take your money. What is that? that uh, Prenup? Uh, prenup uh, uh, no, prenup. So do you guys believe in prenups? If yeah. You money, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> but um, you don't have money, a prenup doesn't help you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got to have money for a prenup. Yeah, money. Like, it costs a lot of money for a fucking prenup. But, you know? but like, what if you're broke when you first get married and then you start accumulating wealth? You're going to be broke when you leave that relationship. Yeah, you're going to lose half. <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna lose gonna, half, it's not bro. gonna be a it's not gonna be a prenup. It's gonna be a busting nut. That's uh what do you call it? Something property, uh equal property or yeah. Yeah, but oh, that's, yeah, um, in California yeah. there's a law. Like, community or property. common law. Community, community law. property. If you make that but now it doesn't even sound like love, it any, sounds like an investment, like you invest in this acquired during you know marriage saying? is community property. Yes, yeah. it is. That's why when you get married, <clears throat> when you're in a relationship and you want to fuck around. Great, it doesn't work out. She caught you fucking, you're done. But when you're married, not only are you, you know, married under law, but this is a business empire you're building together. So if you fuck around and do something stupid, 
not only did you lose your wife and your family, but you lost your business. You lost your empire. That's and you why know the best part. I think it's so stupid, you know, for married men. <laughs> that can happen without marriage, though. No, well, she can't leave and take all your shit and all that if you just in a relationship. I mean, unless yes, you're in California, can. you have to come in law. I understand that. Yes, she can. Common law's not, uh, law. not I, I don't think is uh, recognized in California. Yeah, seven However, years. However, is it seven? seven? Years. I think it's Okay, I, I, I know some states recognize it, others don't. Unless um, they changed it. It's, that's no, you know what? I, I, think, I think it's going to be, I think it's five years. Five years is common law. Texas, for, look it up. In look seven it up. years, five See, five this years doesn't even sound romantic no more. Says, no, California yeah. does not recognize common law marriage, even through California, does not. No. I like how everyone's like, wait a minute, hold on. But I think, I think, <laughs> I think in a seven, no, in a seven, if you're, if you've been married for seven years or longer, if you've been married for seven years or longer and you get a divorce, no. then that's when you, that's when the, the uh, uh, alimony, yeah. alimony kicks in. But I heard that. Um, oh, okay. It's 10 years. So if you if, if well if seven married. years, so hold on. So if you've been married for seven years, you get I believe it's a max of three years of alimony, or which is spousal support. Look at women. Okay? If you've been married, this is for women. If you get ma if you've been married for ten years or more, you get alimony for life until the woman either remarries or she dies. <laughs> okay, but what if you're not married but y'all live together for like fucking fifteen years and you accumulate? You're in trouble. It's common law. You're at this point. It's common law, and it's community property, and you guys need to figure out a way to split it. And there are legal ways to split that. But I'm not married to you. That's my money. Not that's not your money. That's how do I? Can you prove that it was only your money that you spent on that? I I, I want to see the receipt with only your name on it. I can. Oh, Show I me not, that it was only your money. I do not want to marry Rosie. <laughs> Show me it was your money. Show me that I didn't pay for half of it. You, be a, you should be I'm an like, attorney, Rosie. You should be an attorney. You, I'm you like, I'm over here listening. I'm over here listening, and I'm like, wait a minute. I think I want to have my own fucking <laughs> shit. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rosie knows. She's done some research. All you guys are couch right now, so you ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> Take no, I'm just saying. I'm like, hey, babe, you know what? We've only got four more years hey, for common law. Let's fucking hey, D, he has a couch and IA money. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Rosie, you're saying yes, sir? you want to marry this nigga so you can be able to take his shit if he fuck up. <laughs> Here, you know what? And then here's another thing is, so when she, people she didn't ask my question. Oh, no, I don't just want to marry him because I want to take his shit. I'm if I want to take I'm, his shit, I can take it now. <laughs> no, no. Here's, I already took his shit. <laughs> Here took my shit. Took no, okay, so here's, okay. here's what people don't understand getting divorced in California. So California is a no-fault state, which means that if you go get divorced, it does not matter who cheated on who. It doesn't matter if he had 50 hoes or you had 20, like it does not matter. You do not have to show probable cause Ooh. for the divorce. All you have to say is irreconcilable differences. We just couldn't get along. And that's it. Um, now it is a mom. Liz Lizette. Uh-huh. My friend Liz Lizette said she was with her ex for 11 years and got nothing. Why? She married? Common law? Was she married? Obviously not. Wait, did she leave him? I mean, live with him? Oh shit, Lizette, yeah. you, you need to answer these questions quick. Hey, Lizette, girl, I got <laughs> questions. You know what? DM me. We will figure this out. Yeah, you can't, <laughs> I you got can't, you. Get, you can't get shit just because you was with somebody for 11 years. No, get, uh, no, you can. If you live with them, you can. Well, if you live with them, yeah, but if you didn't live with them, you can't just say, <laughs> like, here's my boyfriend. You just pick up your shit. Day. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, see, and that's why I get one piece together. of mail. I don't know. Yeah. At the address? Email you just need mail at the house. address? Yep. You, you are on it. Oh. Let me tell you oh, something. Oh, shit. Hold on. If you get mail at his residence, like she's he, so right. Even if it's a fucking postcard, whatever it is, if you've got that one piece of mail, Ooh, chicken, guess nigga. what, motherfucker? You can't get me to go nowhere. Hey, and what I, I lived here. Ooh, you can't tell me I did. Okay, what if I get mail at her address, though? Can it be reversed? And it's the same shit. It's the same okay. thing. If you. And also, Look it's at, also eviction law right there. Thinking right now. Yes. <laughs> I like it. Hey, Lori, you, I mean, I like I'm, it. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Rosie, you about to say this is a mom state? Damn, is that? Oh, so yes. Yeah, so when you get divorced in the state of California, if you, it is a mom state. So they do tend to give preference to the mother yep, for all things. So like I said, men, be very that careful because just because she doesn't have to prove that you cheated. She doesn't have to prove anything. 
All she has to do is be- tell you, bend over, be a good boy, and take it. It's called Chelsea. And a court I, hey, will, will I, do that. I can, hold on. I can be a, I can, I can tell you that because that happened to me. And I'll tell you, this is a mom's over. Thing. I got bent over and vámonos cabrones hijos de su. But let me tell you something. He did not I was, like it. Hold on, I was, I was, I was, when I was He's married. Like American me, huh? Hey, when I was married, hey, when I was married, I, I didn't, you know, sh- she fucked up. She, and it was, that was, that's the way it goes. We went to fucking court, filed for the fucking divorce. She, homegirl got the fucking house. Homegirl got the fucking oh, kids. you gave her the house. You gave her the no, house. No, 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 no. I didn't give her the, I, I, I had to. That's a different story. We'll talk about that later. She got the fucking house. She got the fucking kids. She got fucking child support. You know what I'm saying? And oh. it's like, I'm out. You know what I mean? H. No alimony? No alimony? No alimony. No alimony. She was making more than he was. She was making more money than I was. You should have gotten so it. I should I could have gotten it, but it's like, yeah, fuck it, dude. The thing is this, though. Hey, but you, it's so you like, paid, sometimes you should have got your you know Kevin Federline on. on. That would be funny. You got you pay child support, she pays the alimony back to you. It would have yeah, canceled that, you know, it out. True. But you know what? Now, but now, you know, there's other there's other allegations we have to go through. But nowadays, now, you know, she's married, and you know, she still makes. Now she's making what double double the amount I'm making. So it's I can go back to court, and oh. you know, it's gonna offset. But the thing is this though: if I go back to court and if I lose, then I'm gonna pay fucking triple the amount of child support. It's just like yeah, on, 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 books, on the books, you're not making no money because you're on IA. <laughs> That's true. Uh, we'll talk hey, about it after. Yeah, and like, there's so many loopholes. Uh, our audience doesn't know what IA means, so we'd have to explain it to them. We don't. We'll, we'll, we won't. We won't talk about IA right <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, Rosie, you. Uh, yes. From the way Rosie sounds, uh, Vato V. Uh, uh, if you piss her off, this is gonna happen over all over again. <laughs> so don't piss her off, no, bro. believe it or not, oh. I am actually. I, hold on, no, no. So I was married before I got divorced and I wanted it. I wanted a clean break. I didn't, I was like, look, I don't want alimony. I don't want to split technically the community property that we do have. I want nothing. All I want is for you to let me walk away. Let me take the kids with me. Got a hundred percent physical of the kids. We can do 50, 50 legal. This is the agreement that you're going to abide by. This is the amount of child support that I'm going to request from you. All you need to do is make sure it's in my bank account every month. But I want a clean break, sign here. We got it notarized, we got it signed by the judge, and that was that. Mine was clean. And let me tell you, that was because I didn't want to have to go through the litigation of it. But some people, some women, some men, get petty as shit when it comes to a divorce. Super petty. Agreed. Okay, now, when it comes to being petty, I mean, they will, if if there are kids involved, they drag these poor kids through the muck. Through the absolute muck. However, if it's if there's no kids involved, I mean, you want to talk about having to go through litigation over a house or over some people have and I only know this because I used to work for a family attorney. They will cut they will go oh, down as far oh. down as yes. They will go as far as fighting over CDs. Mm-hmm. CDs, DVDs, the carpet that I put in this room, I want that carpet back. I want the armoire that's in that room because I paid for it. I want the doorknobs because I fucking paid for those doorknobs and I picked those doorknobs. Mm-hmm. You know, so the whole marriage and legality of it, it's, it's cheaper that's to keep what, her. That's what it, <laughs> well, yeah, it is cheaper to keep her, but it, it also goes for women. Sometimes it's cheaper to keep him mm-hmm. because it also turns around. There are some women that are very wealthy women that have had to be like, fuck, now I have to dish out all this money for him, That's rare. because sometimes it is very rare, but it does happen. Now, like I was saying, California is a no-fault state, so you don't have to prove anything. However, Texas is a fault state. In Texas, you have to prove the reason why you want to get divorced. So let's say that he cheated. You have to have physical proof that this man cheated. <laughs> let's say she cheated. You have to literally have pictures, an investigative report by a PI, something showing that they actually cheated. If you can't Jesus it, Christ, no, Rosie, you're divorce. really educated on this. Ain't none of us are going to Texas. <laughs> All I know about come. Texas is steers and queers. <laughs> <laughs> so what We're about, not going to Texas. <laughs> what about I told my girl who lives in Texas? We're in Texas. Hey, babe. We're going to go take a visit to California. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. because you are still married in Texas. <laughs> okay. Why don't you just take a weekend in California? Hey, what do you think about that, my dear? 
<laughs> Here's the lesson learned here. This is this is what I learned here. We're, don't ever let your girl send mail to your house. If you get it, you write return to sender and you put it back in the fucking mailbox. Here. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. And, Rosie. And don't go to Texas. <laughs> don't live in Texas. Rosie, don't you give her been a house because then she moved in. <laughs> what? Don't let her keep her toothbrush or don't give her a drawer at your house because then she moved hey, that is, You know what? That is very, very true. Uh, and, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you a story on that. Um, my, my, my ex mother, my ex mother in law was living at a, you know, my ex's, my ex's pad when we were, you know, just dating, and, you know, the thing is that she wanted, she wanted her mom to get, you get the fuck out. So the fucking cops came over, and she's like, I want my mom out of here because, you know, I don't want her to live here. So as hey, as long as she mom? has, as long as she has a toothbrush in that fucking house, you cannot legally kick her out. That's you what the officer picture. said. You cannot right. kick her out. If that person has a fucking toothbrush, underwear, any kind of item that belongs to that person, yeah. and they have been living there for like two weeks or more, they cannot be kicked out of your fucking house. She well, could never be mom. legally evicted. Yeah. She got her mom. That's fucked up, dude. Yeah. Well, that's another story. We'll talk about that some other yeah. day. Fuck <laughs> all that, dude. That I would make her shit for me. I'd make her shit disappear like Casper, dude. It wouldn't even exist <laughs> in seconds. <laughs> Hit yourself in the eye, give yourself a black guy, and say, my mom did it, domestic abuse. Then they got to get her out of the house. Yeah. Yes, uh, but it's only temporarily, and you have to legally evict her. You have to go through the eviction process. You know, this is a very, this is, this is a very interesting educational show today. I'm actually <laughs> learned a lot of so stuff. What? Some shit, so he knows what to do now. It is educational. You know, I have a question. If yeah, it's yeah. her toothbrush and I use it, is it mine? <laughs> did you scrub your ass with it? <laughs> yeah, you did. I'm over here thinking. I'm over here thinking. You know what? We're not gonna have Rosie on the fucking show anymore. Fuck that. <laughs> you learned some shit that she knows, man. You learned some, some education. So we do this thing on the show called, <clears throat> excuse me, the Scully Red Rant, and uh, we kind of had the Rosie Red Rant today, but wow. uh, Sorry. yeah, it's called the Scully Red Rant. <laughs> Every week, Scully expresses himself. This is his moment. We we do this. We do this to keep you safe, America, because. If we didn't, if Scully didn't have this moment, he would probably hurt some people. Okay, so <laughs> this is Scully, a moment here on the show every week. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here is the Scully review. The, view, the views and opinions. <laughs> views and opinions expressed by Scully does not necessarily reflect the views and opinions expressed by the other hosts on this show. So, Scully, you have the floor, sir. <laughs> I did not come prepared, but I'm so glad that the discussion of assholes came up so often in this show. Because you know what I really fucking hate? Is those fucking random uncontrollable farts. Dude, like every step you take, it's like pop, pop, pop. And they just start going off and you're like, oh shit. And you don't know what to do because they won't stop. They're just going to go until they go, right? I fucking hate it. You just take a step after step after step. It's like a fucking... Uh, a cap gun or some fucking pop rocks. <laughs> you know what happens every time that fucking happens? Yeah, what happens Somebody to? enters your space and they <laughs> want to talk to you. It's fucking bullshit. It's like, dude, I got uncontrollable gas. Do you just tell them that? <laughs> they're talking to you and one pops out and you're just like, <laughs> and then all of a sudden they make you laugh and then you just blow one. It's like right in front of God and everybody. It's like, God, dude, it's just, what do you do? What do you do? And then everyone just laughs awkwardly. <laughs> That's all I got. Hey, I'm a farter. My high school senior year, they gave me a can of Lysol because I farted so much in campus. <laughs> uh, talk. Okay, my mother see. said, don't hold it in, baby. It hurts your stomach. So I fart everywhere. And I tell <laughs> my kids, I'm like, I did that. I did that. Okay, see, have you ever farted around us when we were all together on the show? At the studio. No. Not no. yet. <laughs> no. But it, it, it happened. It, it would have happened. I generally get it all out before the show, though. Hey, so in a relationship, the question in a relationship, how long should it, should it be before you start farting in front of your girl? Oh, oh, me? Good question. Me? Not anybody, me? just in general. Oh, <laughs> she gets it early. She gets it before she gets the nut. She, she gets a fart. <laughs> <laughs> first, first couple days. 
And I, and you guys are farters. Uh, I'll um, just be like, I'll be like, babe, I gotta go. I'll be right back. I gotta use the restroom. And hey, there it is. <laughs> oh hell no, I'm not going nowhere. I, I, have, my own, I have my own office. In, I, I have my own office CD in her. Today. I have my own office in her house, so we're good. Yeah, you, yeah. you and Tech see y'all shit a lot. I, I I work with you guys. Y'all <laughs> y'all are sh shitty staff. Y'all are very shitty staff. <laughs> wow, this is an interesting. I show. concur. I just yeah, shit at the same time. Every I day. farted. I farted in the car on the way home today, guys. I and fucking exactly. ripped a gnarly one, a vegetable one. Is it wet? And then oh. the he starts vegetable. telling me. I'm like, come on, bitch. Work. Pull me over. <laughs> and that's a You're company begging car. for it. That's a company car. You should be ashamed of yourself. I know. You saturate your seat. <laughs> Dude, it's so cold here right now. I guarantee you it's going to still be good in the morning. I'm going to get open the door. <laughs> And it's gonna be preserved. You gotta turn the heater on. It's gonna, it's gonna, re, it's gonna revive it. Right. <laughs> it's stuck in the filters. <laughs> That's just funny. All right, guys. So that is our show. Rosie the Riveter. Thank you for joining us. Today. Let's give her a hand, guys. Let's give her a hand. Pleasure. You know, it's nice seeing you guys again. Rosie, you were so awesome today. Like I was looking at you, and you were asking questions to the guests. If I ever can't make the show for any reason you could probably be a a, a guest host am i your replacement uh uh i didn't say that i said one, <laughs> one year once a year you could probably take over as a a substitute guest but remember you're a woman okay and I'm a man. <laughs> with more of a mentality than you so it's okay. not, not one mentality right <laughs> all right more guys mentality that should be the next week's topic What's that, Scully? That should be next week's topic. It, Women that have more of a mentality than a man. Hey, there you go. That's a good one. We're definitely going to have you back, Rosie. I mean, you never know when she's going to join the show. You never know when she's going to pop up. She's like that neighbor just always knocking on the door, and you're like, what the fuck, you know? Uh, <laughs> we all know Am I the neighbor. hot neighbor, though? I know that neighbor. <laughs> she is that neighbor. The neighbor in the butt will be fucks. He fucks. <laughs> no, you, you were great. Thank you Rosie, for joining us. <clears throat> Remember, if you would like to uh, leave us any comments or suggestions or emails, you can always leave it on our IG at mentality underscore the mentality underscore show. And we will, uh, if it's good, we'll get it on the show, just like we had some today. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have all of our shows here, um, our past shows from the past. It's been, uh, I know it's been over almost two and a half years, gentlemen, uh, since we've been doing this thing. So um, that's awesome. And we are always going to be here for you. Our audience, our mentalians out there, we ain't going nowhere. Corona, AIDS, H's, we don't give a fuck. We will be there for you. And uh, about three, three out of, of, of our four hosts here on the show actually have something like that I just described. We're not going to say any names. But we're here for you. They're here today. And we're always going to be here for you. So that's our show, folks. Remember, in life, you're good. But with our help, could be the best. Could be the best. We'll see you next week, folks. Fuck that. Peace. Oh, no. oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs>